punch, bro. Are you wanting to punch, bro? You think they pardon me? Mr. Sunak, should the Prime Minister resign? She thinks he should go now. Nobody's pretending that the mini budget was anything other than unhelpful to the UK economic circumstance. But by the same token, there were things within that mini budget that survive and that will be of enormous importance to your viewers. It's the cabinet behind us, sir. Morning. Morning. How long can this trust survive? Morning. How long can the Prime Minister last? Has she got your support? Does she have your support? Does she have the cabinet support? Does the Prime Minister have your support? How long can Liz Truss survive? Why did the Cabinet look so upset? Did the Cabinet give Liz Truss her spare backing? Does the Cabinet want Liz Truss to stay in coast? Does the Cabinet want Liz Truss to stay and the rebellion? Just another change in the Conservative Prime Minister or another Conservative Chancellor is not going to undo the damage that they have done with higher mortgage rates and higher borrowing costs. The only way now to get the change that we need as a country is to get these Tories out and have a Labour government. The Tories are toxic. It's time for change. We need a general election now. I think she's uh, out of her depth, really. So. I think uh, just delaying the inevitable, I think she's going to have to resign. I don't think she's ever looked really comfortable um, in the job, and I think she possibly knows that that's, that's what they were intending anyway, so, um, but I don't think she's probably the right one. You know, the woman's lost the plot, and um, uh, we're going to suffer for some of the, the stupid U turns that have been, you know, been, been put on upon us now. I think. The longer she's there, the bigger lead that the Labour Party will have. That's what I think. Well, 36, 36 points in front at the moment. So if they had a general election next week, there probably wouldn't be very many Conservative MPs in Parliament, would there?